Welcome to our week seven, day two devotional. And uh, some people say that repetition is the key to learning. They say that repetition is the key to learning. Some people say that repetition is the, I'm just kidding, right? Uh, it can get annoying sometimes too, but, but really the, the more you hear or, or say something, the more you, time you spend doing something, the more time in practice, really the better you ought, ought to become at that thing. But I think sometimes also repetition can become boring or it can become something that just blends in with the rest of life. We can sometimes forget how necessary going back to the basics and doing those basic things can be for our spiritual, spiritual growth. We have to keep coming back to the basics to remind ourselves of something so we don't forget about it. We continue, regardless of maturity level, to read our Bible, to spend time in prayer, to actually connect with God our Father. It doesn't matter how many times you've read the Bible, you can read the same passage every day and continue to learn something new from it. You can put it into practice every day in different sorts of ways based on the experiences that you have that day. Just because you've read it once or practiced it once doesn't mean that you have now all of a sudden mastered it. Last week we talked about loving our brothers and sisters in Christ. This is a lesson that we could learn over and over and over again every day and put it into practice every day and still struggle with it every day because there are people in our lives that are more difficult to love than others. We can keep learning and growing even in these simple basics of being a Christian. John talks about this idea of forgiveness, reminding ourselves that we are forgiven. This is something we need to do. We need to remind ourselves of it every day so we don't forget it. When we put our faith in Jesus Christ as our Lord and our Savior, when we trust in Him and believe in Him, we need to know that we are forgiven. You need to know that you are forgiven. Yet sometimes we can grow immune to that reality. We can forget it because it's, it's so simple, it's so rudimentary, it's so basic to being a Christian, but it's the truth for everyone who is in Christ. You are forgiven. 1 John 1, 9, if you confess your sins, he is faithful and just to forgive you your sins and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. So do you know that? Not just intellectually do you know that, but deep in your heart, do you know that? I wanna encourage you to take a moment here to remind yourself, even say it out loud, in Christ, I am forgiven. We can rest in that truth. I encourage you to spend time with the Lord here in prayer with that reality. And as you do, what does the Holy Spirit bring to your mind? Hey, thanks for joining us for this week seven, day two devotional. And we pray this has been encouraging and challenging and uplifting to you as you walk in, in this forgiveness that is available as you follow Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. We look forward to joining you together in our day three devotional.